there! Welcome back to Caitlin Warren Yoga. Today we're going to have a quick little sequence, 20 minutes long, to open up our hips. So let's get started right away. Come to a comfortable seat with your legs crossed. You press your sit bones into the mat, reach up through the crown of your head, roll your shoulders back, and soften your eyes as your hands come to your thighs. And begin to deepen your breath. Nice big inhales through your nose, filling up your belly, and exhaling out your nose. Exhale, same length, if not longer than your inhale breaths. And then taking a moment here to set an intention for your practice. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center, bow your chin towards your chest. Just repeat your intention silently to yourself. Blink your eyes open and bring your chin all the way up so it's parallel to your mat. Let your hands go. Roll over your shins. Find all fours. Press all four corners of your hands into the mat. Pay special attention to your index and front knuckle mound. They might want to creep up. Inhale, drop your belly. Send your tail, heart, and gaze to the sky. Exhale, press the ground away. Spread your shoulder blades apart. Look to your belly. Inhale, drop your belly, send your tail, heart, and gaze to the sky. Your shoulders are above your wrists. Exhale, press the ground away. Spread your shoulder blades apart. One last time, inhale, drop your belly, send your tail, heart, gaze to the sky. Exhale, press the ground away, spread your shoulder blades apart. Inhale, come back to a flat back. Really deliberately plant your hands, one hand print in front of where they are. Now tuck your toes, lift your hips back and up, downward facing dog. And paddling out the feet, maybe taking your hips from side to side. Explore what feels good in your body today. Maybe different than what you did yesterday, what felt good even this morning. Notice where you're holding on to tension and let that tension soften on your exhale. Come up onto your tippy toes, bend your knees, look forward and you're going to come to the front of your mat, popping, stepping, walking or jumping. Inhale, halfway lift, take your hands to your shins. Draw your heart forward. Exhale, roll back down. Press all four corners of your feet into the mat. Tuck your chin, tuck your tail, and you're going to slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. When you get to the top, roll your shoulders back, look up, reach up. Exhale, your hands through prayer at heart center and down to your side. And then take a big step open so that the outsides of your feet are parallel to the short sides of your mat. And if you reach through your fingertips, your ankles are directly underneath your wrists. And then keep your left toes exactly as they are. Turn your right toes out. And then exhale, sink into your warrior two. Your right heel bisects your left arch. You can see your right big toe. You're hugging your right hip underneath you, pressing into the outside of your left foot, taking your left thigh bone high and tucking that pelvis underneath you. And then reach through your left fingertips so your shoulders stack directly on top of your hips. And breathe. Keep everything in your lower body the exact same. Begin to reach towards the front of your mat. Bend at your right elbow. Take your right elbow to your right knee. Left arm either reaches towards the sky or fingertips pointing uh, to the front of your mat with your forearm alongside your left ear. And then you have this beautiful long line of energy through your left side body. Press into the outside of your left foot as you reach through your left fingertips. Wrap your right rib cage forward and up to the sky and press up and out of your right shoulder. Inhale, press back up. Warrior two, straighten your right leg. You'll begin to reach to the front of your mat again. Reach, reach, reach. Maintain all of this length that you have on your right side body before exhaling your right hand to your shin, the block, maybe the floor. Inhaling your left arm to the sky for triangle pose. Same foundation as warrior two. You're still pressing into all four corners of both of your feet. Send your hips to the wall that you're facing this time, and then roll the right shoulder, or the left shoulder rather, to stack on top of the right, and then lean back in your upper body. Gaze can go to the sky, or maybe it's down on the floor, whatever feels okay on your neck. Inhale, press back up, warrior two, re-bend into your right knee, and then straighten your right leg, turn your right toes in, left toes out. Making sure that the left heel bisects your right arch, before exhaling into warrior two on your left side. Again, you can see your left big toe, you're hugging that left hip underneath you, pressing into the outside of your right foot and reaching through your right fingertips, your shoulders stacked directly on top of your hips. 
and your gaze is over your left middle finger. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and find containment in your core by knitting your lower ribs to your upper hip points. Reach towards the front of your mat, bend at the left elbow, take your right arm either up towards the sky or with your fingertips pointing to the top of your mat. As you press through the outside of your right foot, you reach through your right fingertips, but allow that right shoulder to relax away from your ear. Keep a length on your left side body by pressing out of your left elbow and spinning your left rib cage forward and up towards the sky. And again, your gaze can either go up to the sky or wherever feels nice on your neck. Press the ground away. Inhale, rise back up, warrior two. Straighten your left leg. And then begin to reach towards the front of your mat, maintaining length on your left side body before exhaling your left hand to your shin Maybe the block that you have, or maybe the floor. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Hug your left hip and underneath you, press into the outside of your right foot. And as you send your hips to the wall that you're facing, can you hug your lower belly in, wrap your left rib cage forward and up to the sky, roll your right shoulder back, and then lean back. Inhale, come back up, warrior two, and then straighten your left leg. Turn both toes forward. Take your hands to your hips. Press into the outsides of your feet, draw energy up through your arches, and then grow a little bit taller through the crown of your head. And then you're gonna send your sits bones to the wall behind you, your heart forward. Maintain length in your spine and a lift in your heart, a broadness in your collarbones as you begin to fold forward. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. With your fingers nice and spread, you're gonna feel as though you're pulling your palms towards you, drawing your shoulder blades back and your heart through the gates of your arms. You'll thread your right arm underneath your left to grab a hold of the outside of your left ankle. You maybe just place your hand on the mat on the left side near your left foot. Or if you grab a hold of the ankle, you use it to pull you underneath. So you're pulling yourself underneath your left arm, binding a twist, looking underneath your left armpit. And then you can stay with your fingertips on the mat or your left hand may extend to the sky. You might twist your thumb so it faces the wall behind you and then bend at your elbow so the back of your left hand either stays by your right hip or you might even grab the front of your right thigh. And then use this leverage to get yourself a little bit deeper into the twist. Roll your left shoulder back and breathe. If you've gone for the bind, gently unbind, place your left fingertips on the mat and then unthread your right arm. Switch sides, left arm threads underneath your right. You grab a hold of either the right side of your mat or you might grab the outside of your right foot. Tent your right fingertips underneath you and then pull yourself underneath your right arm. Your right fingertips can stay as is or reach up to the sky. Spin your right thumb so it faces the wall behind you and then bend at your right elbow. Your hand again may left, just rest on the back of your right hip or you grab the front of your left thigh. Roll the right shoulder back. Notice if you have kind of tilted your pelvis towards the right, can you even it out? Come back to center. Unthread. Inhale, halfway lift. Take your hands to your hips, hug your lower belly and press your feet into the mat and rise all the way up to stand. Now heel toe your feet together or you might do a little hop boop, and then jump to the front of your mat. At the front of your mat, press all four corners of your feet into the mat, reach up through the crown of your head, draw your shoulders back, and then hug those lower ribs in. And I'm gonna face you for this one, but you can stay as is. Press all four corners of your right foot into the mat, spread your right toes and come up onto your left tippy toes. Your hands can come to your hips. And then take the sole of your left foot either to your shin, or you might grab a hold of it and draw your sole of your left foot all the way out to your upper right thigh and then bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Just make sure that you haven't taken your left knee so far off to the left that your standing knee goes with you. You want your standing knee to be pointing forward and your outer right hip to be hugging underneath you. You can stay as you are with your hands at prayer. Maybe you reach your arms up to the sky. I'm gonna stay in prayer today. Notice if you're clenching at your right toes, can you relax them and let them go? But if you really want to challenge your balance, you may close your eyes. Ooh, it's tough. 
take your left knee forward, place your left foot on the mat, and then shake it out. Switch sides, all four corners of your left foot. You spread your left toes as you come up onto your right tippy toes, and then sole of your right foot either comes to your shin, or maybe you grab a hold of your ankle and help your right foot to your upper left thigh. Press your foot into your thigh, your thigh into your foot. You're hugging the midline of your body. You can even press your palms together. You can imagine as though you're pulling the sides of your waist together. Staying as is, maybe extending those fingertips to the sky. Can you hug your outer left hip underneath you as you drop your right hip crease just a little bit? Draw your right knee forward. Place as well as your right foot onto the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your hands back to your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you're gonna sit all the way down on your mat. Place the soles of your feet onto the mat. Take your hands underneath your knees. Loop your shoulders back. Draw your heart up to the sky and begin to lean back. So your tippy toes might come off the mat. They might not. You might just kind of rest playing here today. Hug your lower belly in. Draw your heart up. Or you might take your shins parallel to the mat. If you want to take it even further, you might reach through your fingertips. Maybe flexing your feet, pulling your toes. And exhale slowly. Come back down. Place the soles of your feet on the mat. Ankles underneath your knees. Reach through your fingertips. Reach through your heart. And lower all the way down onto your back. When you get here, reset your feet so your ankles are directly underneath your knees. Bend at your elbows so your elbows are by your waist. Backs of your arms on the mat, fingers to the sky. Press into your feet, press into the backs of your arms. Lift your hips nice and high for bridge pose. Feel as though you're drawing your heels towards you. Keep your gaze on the sky and the back of your head on the mat as you lift your hips and your heart a little bit higher. Make sure your knees are in line with your hip points. Exhale, one vertebrae at a time, slowly lower all the way down. You'll keep your left foot as it is, kick your right heel to the sky, keeping your right ankle flexed, crossed over top of your left thigh. You might stay exactly as you are, or reach through this little window you've made to grab either the back of your hamstring or the front of your left shin. And if you go the route of holding onto your left leg, on your exhale, can you relax and let it go, let your shoulders melt towards the mat, let your tail melt towards the mat. Gently let go of your left leg. Reach through your fingertips. Create either a capital T or a cactus shape. Cross your right thigh all the way over top of your left. Pick up your hips and your hips to the right. Allow your knees to fall towards the left. Keep your right shoulder glued onto your mat. And your gaze can even go over that right shoulder if that feels nice for you. Inhale, hug navel to spine, come back to center, uncross your legs, bring your head and your hips to center. Press the sole of your right foot to the mat, kick your left heel to the sky. Keeping your left ankle flexed, cross over top of your right thigh. And again, you may stay here, you might reach through the window you've made to hold on to the back of your right hamstring or the front of your right shin. Softening on your exhale. If you want to take this a little bit further, just ever so slightly shift your weight over towards the right. Inhale, come back up to center. If you shift it to the right, take the sole of your right foot to the mat. Cross your left thigh all the way over top of your right. Create that capital T or cactus shape. Pick up your hips, send your hips to the left. Knees fall towards the right. The back of your left shoulder stays glued to the mat. And again, your gaze may go over your left shoulder if that feels okay. If you've lost your intention, come back to your intention. Come back to your belly breathing. Nice long exhales. Hugging navel to spine. Come back to center. Give yourself a squeeze. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And then extend your legs, but bring the soles of your feet together, your knees wide apart. 
and your hands can rest alongside you like you're in Shavasana. And just take a moment uh, to let your hips relax a little bit. And if you like this shape, you can stay in this shape for your Shavasana or extend your legs out long for a more traditional Shavasana. Find a place that you can rest for the next few moments and I'll guide you when it's time to come out. If you have the time, I invite you to stay in this shape for a little while longer. If you are ready to come out, slowly bring your awareness back into the room, back onto your mat, and back into your body. Allow this awareness to deepen your breath, and for your deepened breath to inspire small movements in your fingers and in your toes, Maybe giving yourself that final big stretch by reaching up overhead as you're going through your toes. And then bend into one knee and then the other and come to roll over onto your right side where you're just going to take a moment to check in and notice how you're feeling after a little bit of practice. Press yourself to a comfortable seat. Keep your head heavy and your eyes soft. You might choose to keep your eyes closed. When you have found your seat, bring your hands to prayer at Christ Center and just for a final moment, come back to your intention. Maybe choosing to carry this intention through the rest of your day, through the rest of your week. We end with the word that means the divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste. Thank you so, 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 so much for joining me. This is Caitlin Warren. I'm Caitlin Warren. And this is yoga. So I hope you enjoyed today's class. Please subscribe if you would like to see more. I'm putting out videos every week. Um, if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. And let me know. I love feedback. I love, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like likes. I like shares. All right. See you soon. Bye, guys.